sad, wonderful time of year where we eat chocolate and give presents to each other for no apparent reason other than to stimulate the economy. We basically exist in a secular kind of view. Our society is largely secular at this time of year. Those of you who go to church or other religious festivals and events might disagree. Pagans out there celebrating the solstice. And in fact, back in ancient Rome, they used to sing carols going door to door on the 25th of December. You may not know that. Um, yes, people used to bring trees into the room, used to bring trees into their home in parts of Scandinavia as a way of nursing nature, spirits and things, I forget the precise mythology. Uh, there are similar traditions all over the world. The Japanese just eat cake, I think, and maybe give some gifts. Uh, a great many people around the world just celebrate uh, Christmas, but it's not Christ Mass uh, anymore, you know, uh, as in, oh, it's the day of Jesus' birth. Oh, it's a birthday, even though it isn't actually, because they think he was actually born in uh, June or July. I, I forget when. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and Muslims disagree, but they're not exactly the best experts on mainstream Christianity, or history for that matter. So I kind of negate some of their views as being necessarily the most uh, qualified. But in any case, you basically have the peculiarity of Christmas. Yes, the peculiarity of Christmas, because it was rooted in numerous pagan festivals and events at the end of the year, really, or at the point at which the sun effectively seems to die and is reborn, the uh, winter solstice, and festivals around that time. So the Romans would celebrate a little bit after, and other cultures would celebrate on the 21st. That's why the Mayans had the 21st December. That's kind of like the change of their calendar. And uh, yes, many cultures based their view around that, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, where obviously things appeared to be a certain way from our position in the Northern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere, things vary, of course, and so as a result, you have different festivals, different beliefs, different ideas, all over the shop. And now, what we have is people who try and make out it's a Christian festival, it's a Christian event, a day, even though that is diminished, and that's not necessarily a bad thing in some ways, and many other people who don't even belong to Christianity, or even Western culture for that matter, or have become, become incorporated, incorpor incorporated into Western culture, have basically adopted uh, Xmas as their day for nice food and good presents. A great many Muslims, a great many Hindus, a great many Jews, they celebrate Xmas. They might even call it Christmas. I tend to call it Xmas, and uh, if people wish me happy Christmas, I'll say Happy Christmas. But to me, it has nothing to do with the Christ or the Christ, the idea of the Saviour in the Latin sense, which was uh, a translation from the Greek and before that the Hebrew concept of a Messiah, or uh, what's it called? Is it, is it Moshek? I forget the term now, the term for Messiah in, um, I think it's in Hebrew. But in any case, um, yes, the importance of Christmas. Uh, what's its value? What's its point? Well, that's an incredibly good question. Um, I think now the best you can do is gain some kind of value by being relatively nice to people, giving some gifts to those nearest and dearest, uh, considering the future. That's an important thing, but we have New Year for that as well. And, uh, yeah, having a day off work or a day off whatever else you do. A day off Facebook would probably, probably be better, actually. And uh, I think many people should take that on board. A day off YouTube... Um, easier said than done. A day off the BBC News, because that's depressing. That's probably a thing everyone should do all the time. Um, yeah, you know, it's just simply a question of, it's just another day, but it's a day which used to hold some kind of religious significance, and now to most people it does not. Now it's more important as a matter of family, friends, and as an ancient history predating Christianity to ancient uh, pagan uh, religions, and many of those people, or people who have um, picked up the mantle of that lost past, uh, continue to celebrate in that vein, as modern paganism is in fact a revival. It's a neo-paganism, as opposed to the ancient brand. So, uh, as a revival, as a thing, I wish them um, a happy, you know, uh, solstice, which they just had, and for people who are celebrating Xmas or Christmas, or I don't know, whichever term you prefer, Winterfest, I think some people call it, um, whatever floats you go.